subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Christina Farley is a 91-year-old beauty pageant queen in the U.S. state of Connecticut, but her life was not always this glamorous. Although she grew up in a loving home in rural Poland, her childhood was cut short by the outbreak of war. This is her story. My skin is beautiful, Christina Farley says. So I don't wear any makeup, just lipstick, that's all. Christina, who will soon turn 92, has spent the last year as the incumbent MS Connecticut Senior America. People think that if you're over 60 you're finished, it's not true, Christina says, describing what she likes about beauty pageants. You're showing people you are still alive and you still can do it, you can dance, you can sew, you can paint, you can do anything you want. Christina's optimism and joie de vivre is all the remarkable, bearing in mind the harrowing experiences of her teenage years. She was born in eastern Poland in 1925, the second of five children. Her family lived on 35 acres of land her father had been given in return for his military service during World War I, in a house surrounded by cherry trees. That life was terrific because we didn't have any worries, Christina remembers. We were young and we always had a good time. But when Christina was 14 Germany and the Soviet Union invaded Poland, triggering World War II. In 1940 there was a knock on the door, Christina says. Christina and her family, like hundreds of thousands of other Polish people, were rounded up on a bitingly cold night by the Russian military and Ukrainian police and bundled into cattle trains for a month-long journey into the frozen forests of the Ural Mountains. The train had no windows, Christina says. There was a hole for the bathroom and there was a coal stove in the corner, and that was about it. There were about 60 people in each carriage and all we had to eat was bread. Christina's family were put to work harvesting timber in a Russian labor camp on a starvation diet. We didn't think about anything else apart from food, Christina remembers. We had nothing to eat, just black bread. The family spent two dreadful years there, until Germany attacked the Soviet Union on June 22, 1941. Stalin, in need of as many allies as he could find, then suddenly released tens of thousands of Polish prisoners of war, including Christina and her family. Christina's father, Andre, along with many thousands of others, joined a new army, the Polish Army in Exile. But all of the women and children were left behind and since Hitler had now invaded eastern Poland they couldn't return to their homes. Christina, her mother Valentina, and siblings squeezed onto a boat full of sick, malnourished deportees and sailed across the Caspian Sea, to find work picking cotton near the Uzbek capital, Tashkent. There their diet expanded to include flatbread, blackberries, hard cheese and dried melon. But life was still very hard, so Valentina made the heartbreaking decision to send her children, with the exception of her eldest child, Alice, who was too old to the safety of the Persian orphanages set up by the Polish army in exile.